Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself Bates and 87 today we have built a unbeaten team that means it's a player to win team it's strong it's powerful and it'll get you fucking goals when you need them the most now it is in a 3-4-1-2 formation you can change it down to a 3-5-2 uh, but if you want to save a little bit of money you can get that ace and it's going to cost you 100 thousand coins and a bit less depends on uh, the player inflations and this stuff depends on that if you want any ultimate team coins do purchase any place here on the bench or even in the team itself make sure you check out onefifa.com their link is down below in the description if you use discount code Bates and as well you get an extra 5% off they are reliable and instant if you want the MSP PSN codes or cheap game codes as well make sure you check out g2a.com their link is also there and we can try and smash over 3,000 likes for this awesome team guys that would be absolutely Absolutely brilliant. So it's going to be built up of hyperlinks. It's going to be quite uh, a common squad builder, but I made a few variations of it to suit it me best. So let's get off and kick off this doom. In net we have. We're going to start off with the. We'll build the Serie A half of it first. So in net we have none other than Buffon. We're just going to put the normal one in there to keep the cost down. In the centre back position in the middle, we're going to have a Juventus uh, centre back. Two Juventus centre backs actually, and we're going to go with Ogbonna in the middle. And then on the left hand side, we're going to go with another than Chiellini. In the centre midfield position, we are going to have. Pogba, but you can choose any of the players you want. I wanted Pogba because I like Pogba. He's one of my favourite players. And a few of these players do feature in the best 11, which we did do earlier on in the week. In the left midfield position, we have El Sharari. Brilliant player, four star skills, 87 pace, 85 dribbling. So as you can see, the team is strong on the left hand side and it's made up on the right hand side as well. We move over to Liga 1 or 1 and we go with David Luiz, a transfer card. Now, if you wanted to save a little bit of money just because of that card being fresh into packs, uh, you can go with Thiago Silva or Marquinhos. It's dependent on how much money you want him to spend. In the centre midfield spot, we go with Matuidi, the 81 rated. PSG guy and then in the right midfield we finish off with a Brazilian which is none other than Lucas so there you are guys you know you've got a solid defence a solid midfield and now it's going to get even better with the attack we're now going to move to the Bundesliga in the cam position, we are going to have the non-rare beast, which is Draxler. Uh, just, you know how good he is. I speak about him every time I do a squad builder. So, so good. In the striker position, we actually move to the silvers. And on the left-hand side, we went with Malapa, where uh, probably the most expensive player in the team. And then to finish off, we are going to go with none other than Baster, Beastar. Based. I can't remember. I, I learned how to say his name and I totally uh, ripped it to bits. But there you are, guys. That is my unbeaten, solid Division 1 champion crowned team. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we're going to get into the highlights we did get with this team. So here we are with the highlights, guys, and the standout player. Well, I'm going to talk about each individual player a little bit more, because I've got a fuckload of goals to show you, whether they be sweaty, whether they be aided, or whether they be actually be nice goals. This team's one of them teams where you can score absolutely anything. Like, look at this for a goal from Draxler. Crazy, nice, skillful, and uh, also very agile. Nice goal. So let's start off in the, in the, uh, the defence, uh, goalkeeper Buffon, one of the best on the game. If you played against him, you'll know how good he is. He pulls off ridiculous saves all the time, and he's cheap as fuck. In the centre back position of Ogbonna, fast, uh, high defending stat, and decent at heading as well. Fast being the main key to this team. In the left hand side, we have Chiellini. He is also fast with 77 pace. 86 defending and 82 heading. If you think you're going to get away from these two defenders, you've got another thing coming. Both of them rock the medium high work rates as well, so it keeps them in line uh, on counter attacks. In the right hand side, obviously, we had David Luiz. Uh, he is absolutely ridiculous. We paid 22,000 coins for him on the day of release. Uh, he's actually got two versions of PSG card, one of them being an international man of the match, and the other being his normal 82 rated version. Um, 77 pace. The only thing which is a bit myth about him is his high attacking work rate. But that can work in your advantage depending on your style of play. In the two centre midfield positions, we have two French players. The first one being Matuidi. We all know how good he is. Holds his position well. Gets the ball up into attack and uh, is there to defend all the time. Exactly the same as Pogba. But Pogba does like to go forward and attack. But let him attack because he has got great shots and uh, great dribbling and passing to link up with the uh, attacking side of the team. 
El Sharari on the left hand side, 87 pace, 85 dribbling and 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, high high work rate so he's also good at defending on the left hand side. In the right midfield position we had Lucas, he has medium medium work rates, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot but links up very well when counter attacking especially when you've got Draxler doing 1-2s with him. Now speaking about Draxler, we know how good that guy is, high attacking work rate, medium defensive. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. In the 99 games I have played with him and all these positions have been at Cam as well, he has scored 64 goals and 29 assists. Not the best but for someone who likes to attack with the strikers and not really score many goals with midfielders, he does get on the score sheet a lot. Now with the strikers themselves, they, they are silver, you would think they're going to be pretty fucking shit, and they're not. They're one of the best uh, strike partnerships I've had, and I really wish I, that I had put them in the Road to Glory Wade Showdowns Bundesliga in the silver. Instead, I went with uh, someone else apart from Baster, who is absolutely ridiculous. In the 10 games we did play with this team, he scored 9 goals and getting on the assist 5. Malapa. He got, well, in the 29 games I played with him over the period of FIFA, he's got 23 goals and 12 assists. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. The only problem is his work rates, but he is tall. A lot like Balotelli, but if you've used uh, Malapa, you'll know how good he is. But based on guys, you can pick him up for around 5k. Really recommend you train him in your silver Bundesliga teams. I even, oh, I really do, guys, recommend you building this team and having a play around with it. So this has been my unbeatable uh, 100k squad build. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it. Subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. Drop a like rating on the video. Drop it uh, with your friends and leave a comment if you do play with the team and let me know what you think of it. Until next time, guys. See you all later. Have a very, very nice day. Well. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Oh, shit. Come here, bitch. Oh, you <laughs> oh, oh, was... No. Oh, no. oh, oh bottom, motherfucker. Actually, what, what that is. Oh my god. Finch, leave this. Finch, leave this. I heard you did my back. Finch, no, don't please leave this. Leave this. Finch, don't leave please this. leave this. Finch, please leave this.